This is problem number one from section 5.6. It wants us to use the substitution formula uh, to evaluate the following integrals. So basically it just wants us to use substitution to evaluate these integrals. Now, they're the same integral, so the good news with it being the same integral is we can essentially do the antiderivative once and then just apply it to the second one. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, what do I want to make my u substitution be. Now keep in mind the reason I have to do this u substitution is because I have a function inside of a function here uh, which requires us to do that. So I'm going to make u in this case be equal to uh, 2 plus t to the fourth. And that means that uh, du uh, over dt equals, if you take this derivative, you get 4 t cubed. So if I multiply by d, dt then I get du equals 4 t cubed dt and then divide by 4 t cubed and I get uh, du over 4 t cubed equals dt. Okay, now we're ready to rock. So we can say that we're evaluating the integral from 0 to 2, t cubed uh, times u cubed, and then times du over 4t cubed when we substitute everything in. So we substitute u for the t, 2 plus t to the fourth. We substitute a du over t, du over 4t cubed for dt. And you can see the t cubes are going to cancel here. So we're going to end up with. Uh, the integral from 0 to 2 of when we did cancel out those t cubes, you end up with u to the third uh, du. u to the third uh, over 4 du. And then I can actually write that as 1 fourth, bring the, one, the 4 out, so 1 fourth, the integral 0 to 2 u cubed du. Now I haven't evaluated the integral yet, but I'm going to apply that same, uh, that same knowledge that we just used for this integral to this one. So that means this, if I skip some steps here, that's going to equal the integral from negative 2 to 2 because it's the same function. Uh, and this will be again 1 fourth out front and I'll end up with u cubed du in here. All right. Now let's go ahead and solve this one here. So uh, this is going to give you, when you do the integral, you'll get 1 fourth, parentheses, that's u to the fourth over 4, evaluated from 0 to 2, which is going to equal 1 fourth, if I plug this back in, this u part, that'd be t plus, or sorry, 2 plus t to the fourth to the fourth power all over four evaluated from zero to two and now I actually have to do the evaluation here so I'm going to slide down a little bit so I plug in two and when I plug in two here I'm going to get one fourth when I actually I could take yeah let's do that one fourth parentheses when I plug in the two here I'm going to use my calculator to kind of simplify some stuff so if I pull this out I'm going to plug in two for this function so two stored as x and then type in uh, 2, well I use a fraction actually so I'm going to delete this, so alpha, get that fraction, maybe, got the fraction, there we go, and then I'm going to say 2 plus x to the fourth to the fourth all over 4 
So I have the function in there now. If I hit enter, it's going to evaluate it for 2, and that gives you 26,214. So this is 26, uh, 200, oh, 44, not 14. Now, when I plug in 0, I can go 0, store it as x, go up here, click on that, I get 4. So I end up with minus 4. So this minus 4 times 1 fourth. So I'm going to go up and grab this, minus the 4, and then I'm going to take it times 0.25, which is 1 fourth, and I end up with 6,560 as my answer for that integral. So then I can go on to part B. Part B is going to be pretty quick and easy as well. If I apply now my derivative here, just like I, or my antiderivative, just like I did uh, down here. So do the antiderivative of this, I end up in the same spot. So I have 1 fourth uh, parentheses. This would be 2 plus t to the fourth, to the fourth over 4. This time, though, I'm evaluating from negative 2 to 2. Let's go ahead and plug some stuff in. 1 fourth. When I plug in 2, now I've already plugged 2 in. That was 26,244. The only number I haven't plugged in yet is negative 2. So let's plug in negative 2. Uh, oops, negative 2, and we're going to store this as x. Go up and grab our function. That tells us we get uh, 26,244 for that as well, which that gives you 0, so I end up with 0 for my answer for part b. So I evaluated the same function using two different uh, uh, limiting values here, two different x values, and I uh, ended up with area of 6,560 and an area of 0 for the second one. And it should make some sense uh, depending on the function, but uh, if I ended up with 0, what that really tells us is that this was a positive area from 0 to 2, and from negative 2 to 0, it was the exact same area, but that area was negative, and that's why they canceled out.